So it's been well over a year since I installed the Carillon um, in the cupola. Not much going on in here, just the wire coming out. Um, I had to take the roof off of it. Uh, sorry, I'm a little bit out of breath. <laughs> I just lifted the roof off by myself and then lifted the uh, cluster up by myself. It's not heavy, but it's just cumbersome. This is actually a really big cupola. Um, but just a peek at what was inside before I replace them. These are uh, University MLC speakers, MLC-T. These have the transformer in them. Um, they're a little dirty, but uh, I basically just built this grid to uh, support them and then mounted them up there in a quadrant um, cables. I had done some work to them. These are incredibly old. They're from the 60s. Um, and uh, they worked. They had a nice base to them. Unfortunately, I'm replacing them with horns. Um, so I'm going to have a cutoff of about like 300 hertz. But I think they'll be a little bit more reliable. The tweeters in these are starting to go. I bought them used. Um, they got the job done, certainly, and they sounded really good aside from the crackling and the high frequencies. Um, so it's kind of a double-edged sword. I'd hate to... I, if these worked, like if these worked 100%, I'd keep them for sure. Um, and they fit perfectly. Um, it's just impossible trying to find a decent horn that fits. So hopefully the ones that I ordered aren't too cheesy. Um, I will post an update once I get those installed. But just a peek at what was in there. Um, you don't usually see these in uh, Carillon systems because I think they tap out at like 12 watts or something. Uh, 15. So, 15 watts. And uh, they're not bad. Certainly not for this space. I mean, from up here. I mean, it's not that big of a facility. Uh, and we have neighbors back there and across the street. So, um, not, uh, they worked well. I just, it was the crackling that was driving me nuts. They would break up at high frequencies because some of the tweeters were going out or they're dirty or who knows what the deal is. Um, but uh, those are going and then we'll put the new horns in. I'll try to post a picture or a video of what uh, the new setup looks like. Hopefully I can get that done and install today and then I can get the roof back on by myself. Getting it off was one thing, but getting it back on is going to be another. But we will see. So yeah, it's literally just a 70 volt line that comes up. Um, way goes. Lifesaver. Um, silicone going into the building then goes under through the concrete um, into that building and then the controller is in there. Um, it's all underground, but uh, kind of a backwards way to get it, but that's just the way we had to do it with the wiring. We don't have a direct line from here to here. Um, but yeah, totally designed and engineered and assembled in-house, including the controller, um, and it works well. So we've got our Memorial Day picnic coming up soon where we ring the, uh, um, mass peel through the tower now starting last year that was a new thing and it worked pretty well um, so I wanted to get this done before next weekend when we have the mass um, so yeah it's just a quick peek I don't know the sun's coming out just a quick peek at what was in there and uh, I will try to post an update once I get it uh, updated so Sweet.